I'm Zach Veep. I'm 22 years old from Southern Ohio. Long Beach Grand Prix is the Indianapolis 500 of street courses. So this place is the fastest street course to go to. You really have to have composure right on the edge of everything going wrong. And with it being such a bumpy circuit as well, you have to be completely comfortable with the car moving around and really being out of control as you, you know, try to tame this place. Going down turn one, you have that long straightaway with a bend in it, going up to probably 180 miles per hour into a heavy braking zone. Very fast left-hander, not much room for air. But then it leads into one of the most beautiful corners, I think, out of any racetrack. And then that leads you to turn four, which you have to be really committed when you go in there. And as you get to the middle of the corner, what we call the apex, you start squeezing on the power to get out of there. When you get on power, you feel like you're gonna hit the wall every time. So that leads you to turn five, which usually has these yellow strips that bolt onto the track surface. So that's very bumpy. It's easy to make a mistake and end up in the tire wall there. Uh, leads you down the straightaway, turn seven, another hard braking zone. They're always fighting a little bit of wheel spin when you get on power as you kind of drive uphill to set yourself up for turn eight. So it's a right-hander very fast that leads you to the second longest straightaway, the back straight. You have bridges that you're going under, so your eyes actually have to adjust to the lighting. By that point, you're already in the brake zone for turn nine. From turn nine to 10, just very fast flowing, right-hander, long left-hander. Then that sets you up for turn 11, which I think is one of the most iconic corners in the world for motorsport, and that's the hairpin at Long Beach. I mean, you're down to first gear, feels like you're going 35 miles an hour through there. You're full lock, meaning that you can't put any more steering wheel in the car. And then as soon as it gets through, it's back to power onto one of the longest straightaways we get to enjoy.